Okay, so I'm doing a migration from a physical machine to a virtual machine. So I installed Call Manager 713 and uh, made certain I had the exact same version, exact same IP address, exact same host name, everything is exactly the same. And uh, first thing I did was went in and created a backup device. This is just a temporary uh, device where I've copied the uh, tar files to. Now I'm going to do the backup restore wizard. Uh, so I'm going to pick my device, say next. Pick the tar file. And we'll pick restore. And we'll follow the DRS guide once it's uh, completed the restore. It's probably going to ask for a reboot. So confirm that the IP addresses and host name of the server matches the restored server, otherwise the backup will fail. And then lastly, I'll reinstall the licenses that were originally installed on the server. And then if uh, any languages and Unity connection were installed, I'll reinstall the uh, languages as well. Always follow the steps in the Disaster Recovery System Administration Guide. Do not select the uh, subscriber node, uh, otherwise it's going to result in the failure of the restore. During the restore, don't perform any tasks uh, within call manager or the user options page. And uh, this can take up to several hours based on the number of nodes and size of the database being uh, restored. has to be the exact same version of the backup and the restore. You can't go from one version to uh, a different version. Everything has to be exactly identical for the uh, restore.
Okay, I've uh, paused the video to let it complete the uh, CCMDB restore, and I've uh, resumed it here, so you'll notice there's a gap. Uh, we did start at uh, 425, and uh, it's 438, and we're now uh, restoring the TCT component. And so to re in review a uh, backup and restore DRS, you need to uh, have the exact same version, same IP, same host name, same default gateway. Everything needs to be pretty much the same uh, for the DRS restore to succeed. We went into DRS. We defined a backup device. Uh, we then went to the restore wizard, selected that backup device, and selected restore. This install is probably fairly small, 300-some phones, uh, running call manager 713. All right, so now we need to uh, restart the cluster for the changes to take effect. And then we'll be uh, completed. All right, so to restart the cluster, we'll just go over here. Log in, util system restart.